oh my God, so this dream, it was so vivid. It felt so real. And I really, really feel like I have to talk about it. So I had this very, very vivid dream that I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much 100% sure that this dream was the message for the new moon. And I'm pretty much sure that this is a collective message that I got, a collective download that I got. So I have to obey (laughs) and do what I came here to do. So this is a collective reading. First thing that I do want to say, do you know about the mirror reality? That mirror reality philosophy, the fact that life is a mirror and the physical life is the reflection of the inner world. Your physical world is a reflection of your inner world. So with that concept, let me tell you about this crazy dream. Okay, so I had a dream that it was all of these souls, spirits, spiritual beings, as I would say, like the spirits, like instead of me seeing the human version of you, I'm seeing the spiritual version of you and everybody looks the same. Everybody is glowing. Everybody has this translucent bluish type of aura to them. Okay. And everybody is going up these stairs and in the middle of these stairs is this vortex and there's people that's in these vortex in this vortex and they're making faces as they're floating they're talking they're just in some type of loop where they're kind of like in their own reality and they're not touched in with reality or spirituality if that makes sense so up these stairways at the top of each stairs each each stair, there is a mirror slash portal, if you will. Don't really know what it is. Look like a mirror portal where people were going through it. So there were so many stairs. I'm looking up. I'm looking down at so many people, and they're moving like in, they they're moving like in the uniform motion. Like everybody's moving up. And the the um the moment that a person actually gets through the mirror, there's like this thing and this person lights up and they're glowing. Like their whole body is glowing now. It's full of light instead of being full of nothing. So instead of it being um, translucent. So out of all of these billions of people and the stairway went up like it was, I don't even know, I'm just saying billions. It was so many different people. And then some people were coming out of the vortex and hopping in line. So it was so much going in. And then so so many people were getting pushed back to the beginning of the line. It was so much happening. Um, it was so many people. But these people who had went through the mirror, there were not as many, probably thousands to hundreds of thousands to the billions of people who remained in their bluish, in their, I will say, I don't know what that spiritual state of being would be. I would say it's sleep or not awakened. Now, there were different levels because the stairs kind of went up like that, up around and in this middle, it's like a vortex. So there were so many different stairs and I'm guessing the stairs meant different levels and the people who came up to the top, I guess it, um, I guess that it, you know, symbolized somebody getting through the levels beneath them. <clears throat> the The biggest thing about this dream was the mirror and how many people, the biggest thing that stood out to me was that there are so many people that are going to choose to agree. That's why this message was so urgent for me. Um, and I recorded this message about three times. First time, my dog, I don't even want to say what she done did, but she done did it. I had to stop, tend to her. And the second time, my camera was all off. The sound was all weird. Third time, same thing. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go chill out. Let me get some almonds. <laughs> Give me a snack and I'll get back to it. So this message was so urgent because... 
it was this energy that was saying that there are so many people that are going to choose to agree to a past reality that they've already come in contact with. They already know is an illusion. There's so many people that are that that they're not going to know that they're agreeing and they're going to think that they're not agreeing and they have to become a little bit more swifter or a little bit more um, a little bit more. um crafty with it I didn't lost the word but there's a person who's going to be doing their same thing it's insanity it was like so much insanity in there and it was like doing the same thing over and over and over again praying for a different result and there were so few people that was getting through and once they get through it was like this ding and they would kind of like jump up and look at their new body glowing and kind of run through this portal this mirror portal and the people who were able to get through where the people who were able to look obstacles in their face, look setbacks in their face, look terrible situations back in their face and still identify with the reality that they've placed on the inside. These are your desires. These are your manifestations. Instead of making agreements with what the physical has shown, for some of us, we have these manifestations here, but we don't hold on to the feeling long enough for them to crystallize. We let doubt come in. We let shame. We let guilt. We let fear, most of all, come in and take us right out of our dreams, desires, our manifestations, and put us into a mood of lack and put us into an identity of, of lack. The, the, the number one thing that I got with this, it was what you identify with. How do you identify? And there were so many people who were, because remember, all of, the, all of the, the, the spiritual beings, they were clear, like this bluish clear color. And that was their identity. And the people who got through, they were willing to change their identity. They get a whole new they looked different. They were like solid, um, glowy, bright light, but it was like a solid glow instead of like a translucent, you know, type of glow. It was solid. So they actually took on a whole new identity. Um, and they were willing to leave whatever it is, leave the millions and billions of people who they could identify with, who they may find some type, something familiar with, and they were willing to go into this place of unknown. These people going up to these mirrors, they have no idea what this next thing, what what next, what is next to come for them. But they just are willing to make a different agreement. They're willing to identify with the the version of them within themselves who they believe to be true, and they're able to get through this mirror. Um, so the mirror reality, I feel like that's what's going on for some of you guys. There's also this image of, you know, the mirror reality is you making agreements. That's how I kind of like internalize it. It is you making agreements with certain things. Are you going to make agreements with your past and continue those agreements? Or are you going to make new agreements? Are you going to cut off agreements? Like, I feel like it's about the agreements that you choose to make, whatever it is that you want to, um, whatever it is that you want to desire, manifest, things like that, there's a, there's a level of being. We always talk about abundance being a state of being, right? So this mirror reality, <sighs> with this dream, I also got this vision of somebody apologizing, like crying their present self, with their inner child kind of like crying and apologizing to each other. It's this very rich moment between two aspects of a person and where the inner child is crying because the inner child didn't know any better. And the inner child is upset that instead of playing and instead of Living in this innocence, it took on all of this stuff that was never theirs to begin with. 
and they kind of made identities in it in it and a lot of this stuff is deep rooted a lot of this stuff is deep it's deep 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 rooted and a lot of us everybody here the collective we're going through cyclic things and the cycle continues because first we need to understand that it's a cycle we need to see familiar people. Sometimes you need to date the douchebag again in a different body so you can see that you're, you, you are participating in a cycle. Yes, I said douchebag, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you need to go to that same dead-end job, keep on finding dead-end job after dead-end job after dead-end job to understand that it's a cycle. It has to do with you not asking for what it is that you're worth or, or not reaching to what it is that you're worth. Um, sometimes we do have to, compl we have to get in a cycle so we, our brains can say, like, this has happened two, one too many times, three too many times, okay? This, is, this just keeps on happening. It's all, it almost gives me to the saying, like, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> So for some of you guys, that's why the cycle is completing. That's why the cycle is continuing. If you feel like there's some cyclic energy, the cycle is, com is continuing because the universe needs you to understand that this is a cycle. And just like all cycles, you can hop right out of a cycle. Just like you can hop right into a cycle, you can come right out, out of a cycle. Um, just like all cycles, they need something to vibrate. They need some some type of frequency that's similar to the frequency to their frequency needs to be similar to your frequency so it can actually keep on moving and vibrating and cycling. The moment that the frequencies are off, it puts you out of alignment with that cycle. So it's going to be really, really key for you to understand which cycles you start. This is a time of starting. This is a time of beginning, new beginnings, okay? So these cycles that you start, these habits, these routines, they're not just something that you just do because these are actual cycles. These things that keep on coming up, most importantly, the things that keep on coming up inside of you, but you can always see them by seeing these things that come up outside of you because, again, the inner world is a reflection of the outer. The outer world is a reflection of the inner world. So if your outer world looks like chaos, mess, whatever, lack, scarcity, then the inner world looks like scarcity, lack, fear, abandonment issues, neglect, childhood trauma, all of these things that you are refusing to let go of. So there is also, and I'm going to say this one point before we get into the reading. There's also um, a message here when we talk about the people that's going through. The people that's going through, they make this quick choice. It's something that's really, really quick where they understand that I don't have to agree to these things in my life. Pray it. I don't have to identify with it. Yeah, that was me yesterday, but I don't have to identify with that version of me. I can create a new. That is what the universe is trying to get you to understand. You can create a new. You can create something new within you. And this energy inside of you is going to reflect the outer energy, the energy outside of you. All right. All right, let's get into it. First, I'm going to pull just some cards here. Since this is a collective reading, please only take what resonates and leave what does not. All right, let's see. Let's get into it. What's coming out? New moon and Scorpio. For the collective, new moon and Scorpio. First cards that are coming out. We do have the hang one, the hangman, epiphanies. So good. I'm talking to people who are going to get epiphanies. We have that Queen of Swords. Hey, Libra. All right. Um, so there's some type of epiphany that gets you to know, know, know a truth. 
and this is an inner truth. This is a truth within. This is something that you hone. This is like your intuition. So there's a epiphany that gets you more and in tapped into your intuition. All right. So something completely changes or you see something completely differently. And this resonates with you a little bit better. All right. Also, you start to see. Hmm. This is going to make you delay something. You got the eight of pentacles. You're going to delay something in order to put energy and focus in another place. So there's somebody here. There's lots of people here who are putting energy towards the wrong thing. There is a need for you to step outside of a situation and see things from the other perspective. See things a different way, a totally different way. See things from a different perspective, not the other perspective. A different perspective outside of yourself. You may have to get upside down, get in, get in a different position so you can see things differently. This resonates with the truth within, okay? And this makes you delay. This, this epiphany is going to make you slow down somewhere or even stop somewhere where you were running head fast to. So there is something that is getting you out of the way of a wall, out of the way of cr crashing right into a wall, okay? There's something that you were running head first away from full speed and everything changes. Everything completely changes. All right, let's see what else. What else is coming? What does the collective need to start this new moon cycle? All right, you have the three of pentacles coming out in the reverse. All right, the three of pentacles. Hmm. So again, there is some cycle where there is a need for you not to work with someone. Yeah, something is backwards here. Usually the three of wands is faced this way towards this one wand and the two wands behind the person is usually the two wands behind them and one in front. And the two wands represents the two of wands that they previously, previously um, excelled from or leveled up from, right? But in this situation, something's going to seem backwards. Something is not going to seem familiar. Something's not supposed to seem familiar. It's going to almost seem like you're working backwards. It's going to almost, something's almost going to seem like you're working backwards, like you are going backwards let's see three of pentacles in reverse this could also be you not collaborating with somebody or someone or not being in partnership relationship friendship with a person there's something that you need to see differently all right let's see yeah you have the will of fortune And you go right into the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a cycle. Somebody needs to stop working. So there is this, this message that's telling you to stop. For somebody that's going to resonate, um, you have this Four of Cups where you're kind of looking at this Four of Cups, thinking that something's going to always be, but there's something new coming in. With the world card here, with this type of level up, so there's some type of there's some type of work or collaboration that's going to stop, or a relationship, or something like that. Unity, um, team. You have the tower here, a false foundation. Maybe this is working together with lack. Let's see. Let's open this up a little bit. Let's open this up a little bit. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. We have the ship. So this is directly work. 
this is directly work. Something has something to do with work, money, the presence of a mighty enemy. Somebody's working together with a mighty enemy. Yeah, there's a need for you to kind of like delay something, stop something, um, get out of something like. All right, let's see. Okay, your state for this new moon is the Ace of Cups, love. This is also a great time to start to, to get into a relationship with the person. This is also a good time to receive. This is also a good time to pour out, to share. Um, there is going to be a message or a call that's coming towards you. Um, somebody does have a message. Somebody does have a call for you. You have this Empress energy coming out too. Um, there is praise from the universe. So somebody here is definitely walking through. I do also feel like that there is a connection when it comes to love. There's something happening with the connection. Um, also, there is a need for you to get out of connection with somebody. Um, there's a person who... There's a person who could, who could possibly stop some type of bags or something. Or whatever this person is resonating with in you is putting you at this energy where it can, it can stop something. Or you don't need to be working with a person or you don't need to be sharing money details or something about a career or finances with somebody. Somebody needs to come up out of that circle. Um, but the energy is love. It's the Ace of Cups. This is a great time to start doing something you love. This is a great time to get out there and start dating. Um, this is a great time to pour into other people, to be open, to be generous, to be compassionate, to also be in the receiving mode. This is abundance coming in, so open up to receive. The message is for you to open up to receive something. I do feel like that there's something that you're doing because you don't think you're going to receive something in return or you don't think you're going to receive exactly what it is that you really want. So you're doing something in the meantime. The moment that you stop doing that in the meantime, that sends a wave of attraction because the reason why you're doing it is an active faith that you believe that you're not going to get what you want. The moment that you stop doing it, you start, you, you also, that's active faith, believing that you can possibly get what it is that you want. You see how the energies work there. All right. So that is your new moon message. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.